Taking a live look now at Bourbon Street in the French Corner, where they're bracing for another battle with Mother Nature, a little bit west of New Orleans, where Hurricane Delta is expected to make landfall, now bearing down the Gulf Coast with the shores of Louisiana in the crosshairs once again. Jeff Landry, the Attorney General for the state of Louisiana, joins us now. Jeff, thanks for coming on. How many people are we really talking about in the path of destruction right now? Well, I would say that total, you know, depending upon how uh, destructive the storm is as it travels north, you could have uh, upwards of, say, a half a million people being impacted uh, once it goes from the coast all the way and travels across the state of Louisiana. It is going to be basically paralleling to a certain degree the path that was taken by Hurricane Laura just a, about six weeks ago. And, of course, certainly we'd ask Americans out there to pray for those uh, who are in the storm's way. It's It's been a tough year, uh, certainly a tough hurricane season for many of us in Louisiana. Yeah, as you say, just dealing with Hurricane Laura just a few weeks ago. What's the state really doing to prepare? Are, are, are people getting ready for it? Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and again, we want to thank all our National Guardsmen, our, our first responders out there who have been through so much just six weeks earlier, basically just getting an opportunity to take a breath. And here they are back at the front line again with another potentially uh, destructive storm. I, I think that this storm, certainly uh, people are, are paying heed. I'd heard that, that the traffic going towards uh, Houston from I-10 was pretty thick and at the time travel from say uh, southwest Louisiana to Houston was taking three to four times a normal amount of time. That to a certain extent is a good thing. People are getting out of the storm's way and uh, we'll just see. You know right now it's kind of like WW just waiting on the weather here yeah. in uh, south Louisiana. We are definitely thinking of them during this difficult time. Um, you know I want to switch gears and, and talk to you about another uh, topic going on in your state. There's a groundbreaking battle underway that you're directly involved in right now. It's a nine-year-old being suspended from school after a teacher noticed a BB gun in his bedroom during a Zoom lesson. The family now suing the school. Do you think they have a case? Oh, I do. I do think they do. And certainly want to thank Newsmax. Y'all have done a great job of reporting the story, uh, a very troubling story. Uh, when we think that our public school system believes that in some way or fashion that our homes that we invite them to because of virtual classrooms becomes part of uh, the, uh, the, the school, then, uh, then we've got a problem. This young man was doing exactly what his father had taught him to do. He was actually practicing uh, firearm safety, and for that, he was penalized. Uh, you know, I had an opportunity to visit with the entire family, both the mother and father, as well, came to office. We discussed the particular issues surrounding this case. We're getting ready to take some action as well. Right. Uh, his father weighed in as well on this case. I want to play that sound bite and get your thoughts. Overwhelming, you know, for, for my son to be able to be the forefront of a, of a powerful movement, you know, and that's something and, and, and we need change, you know, in today's day and age, it's 2020. OK, again, working for change. I know you're keeping a close eye on the case. You'll have to come back and let us know the results. We are thinking of that family as well. I mean, we're in a digital age. That is uh, Attorney General for the state of Louisiana, Jeff Landry, joining us live this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.